Hey yo, what's going guys, it's your boy here, and today we're going to be looking at the 1987 Brick Grand National GNX inside of Will Southwest, Florida. This car is an incredibly nice looking car to be honest, I do like the look of this car a lot. And we're going to be getting into, you know, reviewing all of this car and pretty much everything about it. Like it's top speed, it's braking, it's turning and everything in a second. Now before we do, I want to you guys know that my name is Hypot. I have a Roblox group with Roblox merch. I got a Discord group you can join. And I got some socials you can follow all the links in the description below. So if you guys do want to get some beautiful hype on merch, you should join that Roblox group. If you guys want to suggest any car builds, car reviews, car ideas, or anything, go to my Discord and, you know, put that in there. I have a community poll going, guys, so if you guys want to respond to that, it's about if I want to play Eldersburg, Maryland. A lot of you already voted, but if you guys haven't, that poll is in my community tab, as well as a little bit of an announcement if you guys haven't heard it in the last video. So, um, you guys should definitely, like, check that out. But yeah. Why don't we get into the GNX review? So I've, I've been talking for a while. So we're going to be going into the dealership here. And uh, we're going to be doing, well, it's price first. Because, oh man, oh man, this car is a pricey car. I'm just kidding. It's not. It's only $107,000. I was, oof, man, if I said 170, that would have been another story. But yeah, this car is a classic car for the $107,000. Thank God it's not 170. I was going to scream if it was 170. So it's pretty pretty fairly good price though. It's not not too bad of a price, not too bad of a looking car at all. I actually kind of like the look of the car. That's a little high. Definitely would lower the suspension if you were to keep this car, but I just kind of kept it as is. But when we get into it, I will listen to a startup. I like that startup. The startup is pretty nice. It's, it's pretty good. I like it. I like it. Why don't we do a rev? Revving is pretty nice as well. Why don't we do a blinker test? Blinkers are at the bottom there. Blinkers go across right there. Headlights go across right there and right there. Now, why don't we get this car going onto the street where we will be doing its top speed test upgraded with gearing. Now, this is practically going to be the same as the upgraded with no gearing because both of the speeds are actually the exact same so technically it's just an upgraded test with 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 and without gearing if that makes any sense because this car goes the exact same speed so yeah let's go all the way down to the end of this road here and then we'll make a u-turn and then we'll just go straight down the road and see how fast we can go so let's go turn it around let's go into semi-automatic let's back it up let's go into Traction control off mode. Rev it, send it. Okay, going, going. First gear, second gear, and we're going. I mean, this car is quick. Trust me. You guys think this is slow? It goes, it goes really fast for no reason, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I'll tell you guys the stock speed of this car in a minute. But um, we're still going. We have a little bit of the road to go. We have a little bit of our um, little bar here to go, and. Um, we're still climbing. We're still climbing speed. We're hitting pretty good speeds already. 241, 242, 243. Waiting for that 244 to pop up quite possibly. 244. Here we are, 244. And that is our top speed for the car. And technically, it is both upgraded and not upgraded. I'm stuck on the cone. Let's see if I can get out of this thing. So let's just... There we go. But yeah. That speed, 244, is pretty much the same for the, you know... Upgraded with gearing and upgraded without gearing. So let's go back to the dealership now and we will do the brake test and the turn test and we'll check out some of the upgrades for the car. So I'll meet you guys back there. All right, so we've lined ourselves up for the brake test. Now we're gonna be doing brake tests starting from 200 miles an hour and then we're just gonna start braking when we hit the dealership sign. Now this is gonna be a standard for the next uh, upcoming car reviews for pretty much but never just so a lot of the car reviews I'm gonna do is gonna be like 200 miles an hour and braking so that was 190 so what we'll do is um hit the gas a little bit so um 200 to zero braking is by this tree this car can go 253 I mean 243 so if I were to guess it'll end up between those two poles over there at max speed but let's just do a brake test starting at 200, so a lot of cars that come after this, we have a little bit of a set thing for it. So right now, it's the last palm tree that the uh, Buick could brake at. But yeah, let's do a turn test here and see how well the car can turn. So let's turn into here. Uh, always a sharp turn, so a lot of cars can't really handle that one. Let's go behind the boat, ramp it up a little bit. The car doesn't slide out at all. Let's keep going though, and um, let's just speed down this road. Brake, turn, turn. Okay, that was um, 
Car didn't slide surprisingly when I was hitting the brakes and doing a very sharp turn like that, so that's pretty good. Uh, can I do this roundabout? No, I cannot. This is a very long car. But yeah, uh, car, it's, it is grippy. It does have the grip that you need to be able to take some turns. It's not very slidey at all. Um, so yeah, braking on this car is, is pretty good. I'd say it's decent. Um, turning on this car is pretty good as well. I mean, it does not slide, so it's, it's a win. It's a win there. Uh, but let's go to the upgrades and I'll show you guys everything. So, stage engine, we have uh, turbocharging, we have race brakes, we have ra race reduction, we have grip tires, race transmission, no suspension change, all wheel with no draft drain, no differential, no steering. We do have a gearing change to 3.32. This is for the upgraded. Now, really, just keep the car stock. There's, just, there's no point on upgrading the gearing. The up, you don't need to. You, you really don't. Unless you really want that one extra horse, uh, that one extra mile an hour, you do not need to upgrade this car. It's not even possible to upgrade it really well. So, Personally, just keep the car upgraded without any gearing and you should be fine. The car's speed stock is 153, car with upgrades, no gearing is 243, uh, and upgraded with gearing goes 244. There's really no point. Um, personally, if you wanted to just upgrade it by 0.1 more, I, that's up That's up to you, but really there's you just don't need to, but yeah. Uh, if you guys did enjoy today's review, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every time I upload a new video. If you guys want to see any other car builds, car reviews, or anything else, leave that in the comments below or on my Discord. I do need those ideas because um, I'm running out, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy, and I will catch you guys in the next video. I also haven't been up here. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Go. Oh, I'm general manager again. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Good. Bye.